Here they come. They're off and pacing from the inside. Highland Park Ford is first away. Out next between them, Blanche's Beauty. Rushing out third, extreme outside. There goes Prize Lady as they hit the lower turn. Four on the rail, Get Me Well Jenny. Five between Phillies in the lower turn is Mike Smith as they race toward the quarter. Six and shuffled back near the back of the field is Fox Valley Colleen. Racing seven is Happy Wish. And eight, oh, that's great. As they drive off the lower turn, they're racing toward the quarter mile mark. And there goes Prize Lady. She's moving on the outside. There's no room behind behind her. She has no choice but to drive toward the top. She takes over off the quarter in 29 and 2. They're headed toward the half. And Prize Lady is the new leader. And Fox Valley Colleen from 6 is out and moving from the back of the field as they head down the backside. The leader, Prize Lady, but here comes Highland Park Ford. She's right back off the rail. She reassumes command before the half. Racing third, Blanche's Beauty. Four is Fox Valley Colleen. Five, Get Me Well Jenny. Six on the outside. There goes Happy Wish. Seven on the rail, Mike Smith. And racing eight. Oh, that's great. Is moving from the back. They're racing past the half mile mark. They're headed toward the upper turn. And the leader is Highland Park Ford. She's on top by a length. At her back second is Prize Lady as Fox Valley Colleen moves up off the half in 58 and 4. So evenly rated quarters. They're driving around the final turn. At the rail, Highland Park Ford has the lead. Fox Valley Colleen still moving at the leader. She's second. She's back a half. Racing third and locked in tight is Prize Lady. She soon will need racing room. And four, Happy Wish continues to move up on the outside. And Dave McGee will send her three deep past the three-quarter. That's station 129 and one. They're in the stretch. And at the rail, Highland Park Ford has the lead. From the outside, Fox Valley Colleen is going a tough journey. She's been out a long way. She's still there second. And Happy Wish is third, trying to move up. Racing four along the rail and buried underneath horses' prize lady as they race to the wire. The leader, Highland Park Ford, hears, oh, that's great. She's flying on the far outside. And she finds life as they drive toward the wire. Oh, that's great. Gets up to win it. Highland Park Ford 2, Happy Wish 3. Official order of finish from the first race. Get Me Well Jenny finished 7, Highland Park Ford 2, Fox Valley. Now this field just an eighth away. Here they come. They're off and pacing from the inside. Ray Lights Knight for the lead. Down along the rail. Frisky Sport gets away second. Rushing out third. There goes Sunny Prize as they hit the lower turn. Facing four. High and higher dropping in. Away five is Hot Saki. Racing six. Russian Finale. Seven is Duo De Nero at the back. They're in the lower turn. Racing toward the quarter mile mark. And from the outside. There goes Sunny Prize. He takes over. He's on top by three quarters of a length. He leads it now by a length as they roll off the lower turn. Racing next is Ray Lights Knight, he picks up cover second, pacing third and right there with the leaders, Frisky Sport, and then four lengths off him, pacing four high and higher. Five is Hot Saki, six is Russian Finale, and seven at the back is Duo De Nero. The quarter and 31 seconds, they're racing now toward the half. And the leader is Sonny Prize, he's on top by just a length. Ray Lights Knight is right there at his back second, and Frisky Sport is third, just two lengths off the leader. And pacing fourth on the outside, moving up is Hot Saki. Five on the rail, high and higher, racing six beginning to move from the back as Russian finale and seven duo De Nero can see them all as they stroll past the half and now off the rail here comes Ray Lights Knight he's moving at the leader as they hit the upper turn the half and 102 and two they're driving toward the three quarter and from the outside Ray Lights Knight taking over he leads it by a neck from the rail Sonny Prize has been headed he's now second and now here comes Hot Saki with a bold move before the three quarter now third now second and moving on the far outside four off the rail to join the leaders is Frisky Sport. Racing next top of the lane, pacing five is Russian Finale as they race past the three-quarter. That station 132 and three, they straighten toward the wire and Hot Saki is the new leader. Hot Saki heads them this way, Ray Lights Knight is second and Hot Saki has opened up four lengths on the field. Ray Lights Knight is next, five lengths off him, pacing third mid-track is high and higher from way back as they drive this way. And the leader is Hot Saki by four lengths, racing next is Ray Lights Knight, high and higher third and closing ground toward the wire. But it's going to be Hot Saki from the rail, hanging on to win it. High and higher is second. Home third was Ray Light's night. 
Here is the entire official order of finish from the second race. Frisky Sport was followed. They're an eighth away. Here they come. Delco Willie back off the gate. Some five lengths. They're off and trotting from the far outside. Mac Ranger first away. Down along the rail. Bombadil out second. Between those two, Mr. Magic Man trotting third. Away four. There goes Shadow Roll moving mid track. Five dropping in is Red Line. Racing six is Charge It in the lower turn. Trotting seven. Quick go. Eight priority rolls. Nine is Delco Willie at the back. They're racing toward the quarter mile mark. From the rail, Bombadil now trots with the lead. From the outside, Mac Ranger still parked but still moving up on the outside as they slip past the quarter mile mark. They were there in 30 seconds. They straightened down the backside. Mac Ranger on top by a half length by a length and trotting next and still moving from the outside is Shadow Roll. Now to trot second. On the rail third is Bombadil. Four right behind him from the inside. Mr. Magic Man. Two lengths off him. Trotting five is Red Line. And six there goes Charge It who's moving before the half. Seven quick go picks up cover on the outside. Racing eight with ground to make up. Priority Rose trotting 12 lengths off the lead. And at the back is Delco Willie. He is ninth and last. They're trotting past the half mile mark. They're headed toward the upper turn. And Shadow Roll has been out all the way. He's never seen the rail. And finally, he makes the top. He leads it by a length. And from the outside, here comes Mr. Magic Man. He's out and driving. He bowls his way to the front from the outside. The half was trotted in 59 and 1. They're racing toward the three quarter. And from the outside, Mr. Magic Man getting to the front. And Charge It still moving up. Now second. Racing third on the rail. Shuffled back is Shadow Roll. Four quick goals moving up. Racing five is priority rose they're trotting past the three quarter and that station was reached in 130 and two fifths they trot toward the wire and from the outside charge it now getting to the front charge it the new leader from the rail mr magic man fighting back second a distant third is shadow roll he's fading on the rail trotting four is priority rose five is red line but still eight lengths off the lead and charge it is on top from the outside but mr magic man will not go away he's still there they're in the final 16th charge it from the outside mr magic man from the inside those two, they trot to the wire. It will be Charge It getting up to win it by a half length. Mr. Magic Man 2, Red Line 3. Here is the entire official order of finish from the third race. In that one, Bombadil was 8. Mr. Magic Man 2, Red Line 3. Mac Ranger finished 7. Delco Willie 9. Charge It the winner. They're an eighth away. Here they come. They're off and pacing between them. My Baby Cakes is first away from the outside. Aaron's Honey out second, then along the rail. Hustling up third. There goes Silk Shadow as they hit the lower turn. As Aaron's Honey drops in the fine cover, she's now third as they race toward the quarter mile mark. And from the outside, My Baby Cakes is driving toward the top. She takes over. She's the leader before the quarter mile mark. Silk Shadow picks up cover second. On the rail third is Aaron's Honey. Four, she's My Bobo two. Two lengths off her. Pacing five is Similu. And six at the back, Susie McDougal passes the quarter mile mark as they turn down the backside racing toward the half and the leader by just a length as they straighten that way is my baby cakes at the rail second is silk shadow pacing third Aaron's honey here comes Simalu and she is charging past pacers and Simalu is now second now bulls her way to the front she takes over with authority at the half mile mark she is the new leader and my baby cakes content to give way second racing third silk shadow four toward the upper turn will be Aaron's honey and five she's my bobo two is patiently biding time at the back and six but right there Susie McDougal is off the rail from the back of the field as they race past the half mile mark in 58 and three they're driving toward the three quarter the leader by just a length is Simalu at the rail racing next is my baby cakes she is still there and on the outside Susie McDougal is picking up the leaders third racing four behind her here comes she's my bobo two she's moving up on the outside five is silk shadow as they turn for home they're racing past three quarters 
Off that marker, they straighten toward the wire and won 29 and 3. They're in the lane. At the rail, Similu has the lead. From the outside, Susie McDougal is second, and she's been out a long way. Racing third, my baby cakes. Four, she's my bobo. Two is still five lengths off the leader. They're in the final eighth mile. Here comes my baby cakes. She's back off the rail from two, but Similu hangs top. She has them by two lengths. They race to the wire. It will be Similu and Laverne Hostetler taking this stakes race. Home second, my baby cakes. Silk Shadow was third and 58 and one. They're an eighth away. Here they come. They're off and pacing from the inside. Zambuca first away from the outside. Rushing out second. There goes Yes Sir Buddy. Those two battling for command as they thunder into the lower turn. And Yes Sir Buddy getting to the front. He leads it by a length. At the rail, Zambuca is covered second. Two lengths off him. Third is B.H. Bunny toward the quarter. Racing four dropped in is Battle Almahurst. Racing five, Silverado Jake. Six is Cam Brand. Seven on the rail, Cedars Trenton. Racing eight, Dream a Trick. Nine, Whoopi Cloud is at the back. Last as they turn down the backside. And off the rail third. Here comes B.H. Bunny. He's moving right now. Now second. Now up alongside the leader. And Battle Almerhurst comes right with him. Off the quarter in 30 and two fifths. They're moving down the backside. The new leader is B.H. Bunny. From the outside, Battle Almerhurst second. On the rail, shuffle back third is Yes Sir Buddy. Four and moving on the outside comes Silverado Jake. They're at the half. Five Zambuca. Six is Cam Brand who begins to move. Seven Cedars Trenton. Eight Whoopi Cloud. Nine Dream a Trick at the back as they slip past the half mile mark they're headed toward the upper turn at the rail bh bunny in command from the outside battle elmerhurst second those two doing battle past the half mile mark they were at that station in 59 seconds they're racing toward the three quarter from the rail bh bunny fights back and leads it by a half length battle elmerhurst from the outside second on the rail third yes sir buddy he's locked in tight no place to pace racing four and moving on the outside here comes silverado jake he's soon to come three wide top of the lane and five is cam brand behind him as they straighten toward the wire. They're racing past three quarters. That station in 130. Final quarter mile. B.H. Bunny at the rail has the lead. Now, here comes Silverado Jake. He's three wide with pace. Between them, Battle Elmahurst is still there. Those three battling the lead. Far outside, Silverado Jake is trying. B.H. Bunny with the lead at the rail. Between them, Battle Elmahurst finds himself now third. And Silverado Jake still moving at the leader. Zambuca between horses. No place to go. Here's Cambran flying on the far outside. B.H. Bunny appeared to hang on, but that's a photo finish between B.H. Bunny, Cam Brand, and Silverado Jake. Here is the entire official order of finish from the fifth race. Sambuca was four, B.H. Bunny one, Battle Elmaher six, Sil Now this field, just an eighth away. Here they come. They're off and pacing between them. Pterodon for the lead. Out next, down along the rail is Danzig. Rushing out third from the outside. There goes April Powell. Four on the rail is Libido. Five toward the quarter mile mark will be guarded wings. Six dropping in the fine cover is Ten Speed. Away seven stunning Sabra. Racing eight toward the quarter mile mark is Mixed Pleasure. Nine at the back of the field. Step out Todd as they drive off the lower turn. Being led now from the outside by April Powell who takes over for Laverne Hostetler. And Pterodon picks up cover second, but now is right back off the rail. There goes Pterodon again toward the front. Off the quarter in 30 seconds, they're straightening down the backside. And Pterodon, the leader once more. At the rail, April Powell is covered now second. Inside third is Danzig getting the perfect trip. And four on the outside. Here comes Ten Speed, and she's flying past Pacers. Now second, now up alongside the leader. And Stunning Sabra is moving up right behind her. She's now third as Ten Speed takes over. And Ten Speed is the new leader. Stunning Sabra is second from the outside. 
outside. Inside third is Pterodon. Four is April Pal. Five moving up on the outside is Step Out Todd. Six behind her is Mixed Pleasure. Racing next as they drive around the upper turn. Seven and shuffled back on the rail toward the back of the field will be Danzig. Off the half mile mark, they were there in 59 and two. They're in the final turn. Field being led at the rail by 10 speed. She's on top by a length. Racing next from the inside. Still there is Pterodon. On the outside third, Stunning Sabra trying to move up. Racing four on the rail. Step out Todd. They turn for home. Libido begins to move from midfield. They're racing past three quarters. That station, one, 28 and three. They drive toward the wire. Inside, 10 speed has the lead. Stunning Sabra next. Libido is trying to move up from the far outside. Final eighth mile from the outside. Stunning Sabra is going a big, big journey. And Pterodon's back off the rail, looking for room, trying to come three wide. Stunning Sabra is getting to the front. Now Danzig is moving. Here's Danzig with all kinds of pace to the wire. Danzig, mid-track, gets up to win it. Stunning Sabra two, photo for three. They're an eighth away. Here they come. They're off and pacing from the outside. Steady influences first away. From the inside, Historical Society gets away second. Rushing out third is Lake Hills Wolf as they hit the lower turn. Racing five on the rail. Moving up now fourth is Fox Valley Rouge. Five on the outside is Mutt hunting cover. He now finds it. Six is Will Rich. Seven is Red Dog. Eight, Tyler's Hope. Nine is Sean R.K. at the back. They're racing toward the quarter. And the leader is steady influenced by just a length. At his back, Historical Society is second. Two lengths off him. Racing third is Lake Hills Wolf past the quarter. Four is Fox Valley Rouge. Five is Mutt. Four lengths off him. Pacing six down the backside is Will Rich. Seven, Tyler's Hope is out and driving. Eight is Red Dog. Nine is Sean R.K. The quarter and 29 and two, they're racing down the backside. And the leader by just a length is Steady Influence. At the rail, Historical Society second. Here comes Mutt. He is flying on the outside. And Mutt takes over with authority before the half. At the rail, Steady Influence picks up cover and a breather second. Racing third, Historical Society. Society. As they race past the half mile mark, they're headed toward the upper turn. Pacing four, moving up on the outside is Tyler's Hope. Five, shuffled back on the rail as they race toward three quarters, Lake Hills Wolf. Six, and moving on the outside as they race around the upper turn will come Sean R.K. off the half in 59 and four. They're driving toward the three quarter. The leader is Mutt. He's on top by a length and a half. From the outside, Tyler's Hope is moving up second. At the rail third is Steady Influence. They turn for home. Four, at the top of the stretch, Historical Society needing racing room and five Sean R.K. is within striking distance as they race past the three-quarter that station 129 and four they drive toward the wire the leader as they race this way by a length and a half is Mutt racing next off the rail from two as they drive toward the wire moving up in the lane here comes steady influence and far outside is Sean R.K. between them steady influence the leader Sean R.K. is second he's still moving in the lane but steady influence who made the top when they left is back in front and steady influence is going to hang on and win it by a length. Sean R.K. is second. Home third was Lake Hills Wolf. Official order of finish from the seventh race. Historical Society was eight. Fox Valley Rouge, six. Right now, this field just an eighth away. Here they come. They're off and pacing from the outside. Egyptian Lorraine for the lead. Down along the rail, Bear Bait gets away second. Rushing out third, but now dropping in is Fox Valley Tizzy as they hit the lower turn. Away four as they drive toward the quarter is Flashy Two. Racing five, midfield, always something. Six on the rail is Prize Birdie. Seven, Costume Ball. Eight, there goes Egyptian Mohawk. Nine, Nancy Can is at the back as they turn down the backside. The front two open up five lengths on the field. The leader past the quarter as they turn down the
the backside, Egyptian Lorraine. She was out the quarter in 29 seconds. She straightens the field toward the half. Right there with her, racing second is Bear Bait, and seven lengths off her, racing third, moving up on the outside is always something as they drive now toward the half. And Bussy hustles always something up toward the leaders. Racing four as they drive down the backside will be Egyptian Mohawk. Pacing five is Flashy Two. They're at the half. Six is Nancy Can. Seven, Costume Ball. Eight, shuffled back on the rail is Fox Valley Tizzy. Nine, Prize Birdie is last as they drive toward the upper turn. The leader, Egyptian Lorraine. She's on top by a length. Bear Bait second. Always something is off stride and she drops through the field. They're racing past the half. That station was reached in 59 and 1. The field is driving now toward the three quarter. The leader, Egyptian Lorraine, untested. She's looking for pacers and Bear Bait still there second at her back. Racing third from the outside. Moving up. Here comes Egyptian Mohawk and she is settled mid track and flying as they turn for home. Four on the rail is Flashy Two. Five, Nancy Can. Past three quarters. That station in 130. They straighten toward the wire. The leader, Egyptian Lorraine. Egyptian Mohawk from the outside is second. Those two will battle in the final eighth mile. Bear Bait is third on the rail. She's been there all the way. Four, Nancy Can. Five, Flashy Two. They race to the wire. Egyptian Lorraine now under a drive. Egyptian Mohawk is second. Nancy Can far outside. Here's Bear Bait toward the rail. And Bear Bait is moving again in the final 16th. But Egyptian Lorraine hangs tough. And Egyptian Lorraine wins it. A photo for two between Bear Bait and Nancy Can. And right now, here is the entire official order of finish. They're an eighth away. Here they come. They're off and pacing between them. All the peas are picked. First away from the outside. Some horse gets away second. Down along the rail. Hawthorne Fly is out third. Rushing out fourth. There goes Satin's Dance. They're in the lower turn. Five. Settling out the rail. Fitzpatrick. Six. Hink is Finale. Seven is Charlie Drucker. Racing eight. Kid Jazz. Nine. Miller Creek Society at the back. And from the outside. There goes Satin's Dance. Moving fast out of the quarter mile mark. And Satin's Dance is getting to the front. At the rail. Giving way second. All the peas are picked. Racing third, dropped in the fine cover there is some horse. Four is Hawthorne Fly. Five is Fitzpatrick. Six, Hink is Finale. Seven, Charlie Drucker. Eight, Kid Jazz. Nine, Miller Creek Society. 29 and two for the quarter. They're racing now toward the half mile mark. And Satin's Dance on top by a length. And now to the outside. Here comes Hawthorne Fly. He begins his kick right now. And he bowls his way to the front. He takes over. They're approaching the half. Hawthorne Fly, the new leader. Satin's Dance now second. All the P's are picked as third. Four. Here comes Fitzpatrick. He's moving fast. They're racing past the half mile mark. They're headed toward the upper turn. Five. Behind him some horses moving up on the outside with cover. Racing six. Here comes Charlie Drucker on the outside. The half mile station in 59 and three. They're in the final turn. They're racing toward the three quarter. At the rail. Hawthorne Fly has the lead. From the outside Fitzpatrick easing up second. On the rail third is Satin's Dance. Four is some horse. Five. Tipping three deep. Here comes Charlie Drucker he has pace. They're at the top of the lane. And Hawthorne Fly, Buddy Simpson, head him past the three-quarter. That station, 131 and 3. The field straightens toward the wire. They're three deep behind the leader. And the leader is Hawthorne Fly. Charlie Drucker from mid-track moves up to be second. Satin's Dance is third on the rail. All the peas are picked, looking toward the inside. Final eighth mile for Hawthorne Fly. He's on top by two lengths. Satin's Dance is trying. All the peas are picked as third. And all the peas are picked. Still moving on the rail. Here he comes. He's getting to the leader. Hawthorne Fly in their drive to the wire. Hawthorne Fly hangs on to win it. Satin's Dance 2. All the peas are picked 3. And that will be... Here is the entire official order of finish from the ninth race. Hawthorne... They're an eighth away. Here they come.
They're off and pacing from mid-track. Fox Valley Classic for the lead. Out next is Flawless Society. Rushing out third between horses. Lucky Mohawk. Four from the rail is Broadway. Bright light as the field sneaks around the lower turn. Racing toward the quarter. Five dropping in. Roar T's Revenge. Racing six. Settling on the rail as they race toward the quarter mile mark is Loyalty Ranger. Seven is Gold's Boy. Eight Anxious Eddie. Nine is Thousand Fifty Six as they race toward the quarter mile mark. And they're being led by just the length by Fox Valley Classic as they turn down the backside. Off the quarter in 29 and 4. They straighten now toward the half mile mark. And he's back racing next. Flawless Society. Pacing third. Lucky Mohawk. Four down the backside is Broadway Bright Light. Racing five. Rorty's Revenge midfield. Six. There goes Gold's Boy. He's moving from the back. Seven right behind him comes Anxious Eddie. Racing eight. Thousand fifty six begins to move as well as they race toward the half mile mark. And nine shuffled to the back of the field as they drive past the half will be Loyalty Ranger. Off the half they will head toward the upper turn. Field being led by just a length by Fox Valley Classic. Inside, Flawless Society stalks him second, and here comes Flawless Society. He's off the rail right now to try the leader. Racing third is Lucky Mohawk. Four is Gold's Boy. Five, Anxious Eddie moving up on the outside. Six, Broadway Bright Light. The half and a minute, two fifths. The field is now approaching three quarters. From the rail, Fox Valley Classic. From the outside, Flawless Society. Those two battling for command. Two lengths off them. Pacing third is Lucky Mohawk. Top of the stretch. Four. Anxious Eddie still moving. Continues to pick up the leaders off the three-quarter. In 129 and four, they race toward the wire. And from the outside, Flawless Society still trying. From the rail, Fox Valley Classic is still there. Lucky Mohawk third. Anxious Eddie fourth as they drive this way. And Flawless Society just will not quit. But at the rail, Fox Valley Classic is going a game journey himself as they're in the final 16th. And those two will test each other to the wire. Fox Valley Classic inside. Flawless Society photo finish between those two. One, 58 and two. That was the entire official order of finish from the 10th race. Broadway Bright Light was eight. Flawless Society, the winner. Lucky Mohawk finished three. Right now, this field just an eighth away. Here they come. They're off and pacing from the outside. Lassiter Hanover for the lead. Rushing out second, extreme outside. There goes Smooth Bay. And now hustling up from the rail is Alberton Fair, who now leads it as the field drives toward the quarter mile mark. Alberton Fair, the leader, a length and a half. From the outside, ranging up second comes Lassiter Hanover. On the rail, third is Mayberry. Four dropping in is Smooth Bay. Five, Nike Almahurst. And then three lengths off him. Racing six past the quarter, Mom's Predictor. Seven is Burnt Orange. Eight, Cool Diplomat. Nine, Wonderlick T. DJ, the quarter in 28 and 4. They're rolling as they turn down the back stretch, and they're being led now by Lassiter Hanover. He's on top by a length and a half. Racing next is Alberton Fair. Facing third, Mayberry. Four to the outside. There goes Nike Almahurst. He's moving right now. Five on the rail is Smooth Bay. Racing six, Mom's Predictor. Seven, Burnt Orange. Eight, Cool Diplomat. Nine, Wonder Lake. TJ can see the entire field. They're racing past the half mile mark. Lassiter Hanover in command by a length. Alberton Fair second. Up on the the outside racing third is Nike Elmahurst as they drive toward the final turn. Four is Mayberry shuffled back on the rail. He's yet to move. Five out and driving in the turn comes Mom's Predictor. The half in 58 and one. They're racing toward three quarters. Field being led by just a length by Lassiter Hanover from the outside. Still moving Nike Elmahurst. He's now second on the rail. Third Albert and Fair soon will need racing room. Four Mom's Predictor will have to come three wide. Here comes Wonderlick TJ. He's five and coming mid track from the back of the field as they race past the three-quarter. That's station 128 and 2. The field settles for the stretch drive. The leader, Lassiter Hanover, they're coming from everywhere in the stretch. Nike Elmahurst getting to the front. Now Moss Predictor. Now Wonderlick TJ far outside. From the inside with the lead, Nike Elmahurst. Moss Predictor is there. Burt Orange looking for room. Diving toward the rail. Here comes Smooth Bay. He has pace. Final eighth mile. Smooth Bay is flying on the inside. Here he is. Smooth Bay gets up to win it. Photo for two between Mom's Predictor and Nike Elmahurst.